bird watching is terrific fun. The trouble is, a lot of the hardest ones to identify are the very small ones. They hide up in the branches and they duck behind them and they're fairly um, drably coloured, many of them, and it's quite difficult to see them, even with binoculars. So it would be very nice if they came closer to us, but of course a lot of birds don't do that, especially the small ones which are often quite shy. So what we really need is a system of luring them, not with food, but by tricking them in their own language. You see, for a lot of little birds, and uh, little mammals too, the high-pitched squeaking sounds are a sign of distress. If they hear those, they might uh, fly away, but they might equally come to investigate and see what's going on. So the answer is to try and make high-pitched squeaky sounds, which, if you have the right sort of teeth and lips, you can do like this. That often works. But it's a bit hard on the, uh, on the uh, lips. They start to fall apart after a long while. So it's often a bit easier to suck the back of your hand. You get a sound like this. But even that gets a bit tiring too. So in desperation, and to be kinder on the mouth, equip yourself with a bit of glass, like a, a, a glass um, cup or a bottle, and a bit of cork, or even better, a piece of plastic foam. Then if you wet the cork of the foam and rub it on the glass, you make high-pitched squeaking sounds, and that's what you want. Or with a cork, like that. I prefer the foam. And keep that up, that's very easy to do. And I can hear a couple starting already. Be very patient and pick an overcast day, preferably in the morning or the evening. Sit under a tree like this and you could... There's one now. You could well have a lot of success in drawing the birds in to the point where you can actually bird spot them.